SIGWIN application provides Linux types environment in Windows. And we can use the SIGWIN installer to install lots of different Linux applications to run with SIGWIN. One application in particular we are interested in is also to install Telnet to work with SIGWIN. Let's start our favorite browser. Let's Google SIGWIN. We will select install SIGWIN and now we are on the SIGWIN website and as you notice we have two versions of the SIGWIN installation program or application and personally I'm using a 64-bit version of Windows. Click on the link. Once the download has completed head to the folder where you have downloaded the installation program. Now this is where I have installed mine in this folder on my desktop. Locate where yours is. Double click on it and click run. Then click next. Keep clicking next. I will leave here everything to default. Click next again, next again and next again. Now here it's asking us what server to use uh, to download the remaining uh, application for this uh, for the, for SIGWIN. And personally, I've used the first one, and it turned out to be quite fast. But try to install from the one nearest to you, or feel free to use any one of them. You can always go back and try another one if it's too slow. Click Next, and the download, as you notice, has started. We get presented with SIGWIN Setup Select Package. And this is where you select additional packages that you like to install with the PACE SIGWIN package. Now here I'm going to type inetutil and this will help me install telnet support. I will choose default and then we'll click next. Click next here and then we allow the installation to go on. Now this might take a while so you have to exercise patience here. And the installation of Telnet also will be included with the base SIGWIN packages as well. Finally, my installation has completed. You might discover that mine has gone faster than yours because I have speeded up uh, the video. Now here we presented with this video where you create your icons, your shortcut and all that. So you need one on your desktop definitely and I will add one to my start menu and click finish. Now the installation is complete. Let's go and uh, test uh, SIGWIN and in particular we'll test Telnet as well. Here from the start you might get SIGWIN here. If you can't find it here I'm sure it will be on your desktop. Click on it and and here now we have SIGWIN. Now there are a few things you can do. You can do it to option and make the font uh, look a bit bigger. So for example you can say text, select and I like to increase my font to 12 bold and even you can change the color of the cursor. The first thing I, will, uh, uh, I would like to show you is a Control L and that will clear the screen. Control L will clear the screen. Type help. We get a list of all the bash command here. Control L again to clear the screen. Now let's do a telnet. Now to exit a telnet you do a control brackets and to, to go back to bash shell you do a quit and you're out of telnet. That should conclude this tutorial. Please join me on my other videos. Bye for now.